So really you ain't gonna hit me back, yeah Now it's all just you got me on blast and Holland Bamboo We are approaching the famous Holland Bamboo Okay, so we went to Scott's Cove, then Middle Quarters, and now we are in Alan Bambo, also called Bambo Avenue. We are going to meet a very shy lady called Lasanda. Stick with us. Yes, yeah, so Lasanda owns a store where she sells jelly raw peanuts and a whole host of other things but she's very shy you soon see you know what i see no you know what i see she know what i see she know what i see yeah man i hear a name just give me a name on your style turn your back give me a name give me a name what is your name or your style no, no, then just tell me because we want people to stop and come at you so they see it from, from TV or which part and then want to come buy your product Do me a drink and she attack All right, you the talk, background. talk in her background, see she a drink eh? I love my jelly Yeah, from this nice lady who don't want to tell What's us her name What's your name, honey? Just tell me your name now All right, see how the stall look here If you don't pass and see the stall You can not stop and just get the jelly from this unknown lady all right, thank you. And this is Miss Lasanda. Yes, Lasanda. Lasanda. So when you're in Holland Bambo, stop and ask for a Lasanda. Nice, nice jelly vendor. Okay, nice, nice jelly vendor. <laughs> For a little history. Holland Bamboo Grove is located in Lacovia, St. Elizabeth. The avenue is approximately four kilometers long and portrays a beautifully arched and shaded arrangement of bamboos on both sides of the roadway. Holland Bamboo, also known as Bamboo Avenue, is a heritage site and one of Jamaica's main tourist attractions, which is said to be the most photographed place on the island. It was planted by the owners of Holland Estates and dates back to the mid-1700s. Other bamboo avenues exist in Jamaica. These are usually in mountainous regions. However, the bamboo avenue in Holland is the longest by far and the only one which covers a busy road. It is unique in this respect. The purpose of the grove was to provide shade for plantation slaves and owners of the estate en route to the town of Lakovia, which alternated with Black River as the capital of St. Elizabeth during the 18th century. The grove was part of the Sugar Estate and was owned by John Gladstone, 1764 to 1851. A merchant, politician and father of William Gladstone, 1809 to 1898, a British Prime Minister. Today, the avenue is protected under the Public Gardens Regulation Act and managed by the Public Gardens Division of the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries. Rumor has it that the intricacy of bamboo canopy was planted in the late 17th century for the purpose of supplying material to the nearby Lakovia Manufacturing Company. It is thought that the bamboo fiber was used as a lubricant for car wheels and steamship engines. Although this company failed to take off, the bamboo trees have survived until this day and remains a beautiful feature. The species of bamboo grown in Holland Bamboo Avenue is Bambusa vulgaris, which originated in India and is the largest species that was introduced in Jamaica. The strands of bamboo growing alongside the road form a green feathery tunnel that flutters with the slightest breeze. It was once much denser, but at present the sun peeps through at the top of the arch and at the sides in places where hurricane damages have thinned the strands. The Bambusa vulgaris can grow to a height of 12 meters. Its flowers are spikelets, which are pinnacles or pinnacled spikes with six stamens. It flowers infrequently, 
from November to April, flowering once in about 40 years. So there you have it, more interesting facts about Jamaica. Stay tuned and thanks for being here.